Good morning, everyone. Happy Fitness Friday. Welcome. Today we are very excited to show you a workout, a low maintenance cardio and muscular fitness training workout. Did I say all Indeed of it? Indeed we are. Okay. I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Fitness Friday. I am Dr. Ayla Donlin. And I'm Emily Sopo. And we are your MyZone Master Trainers. I hold my doctoral degree in educational leadership. And both Emily and I hold master's degrees in kinesiology, Emily in exercise science, myself in sport and exercise psychology. We are both certified group fitness instructors and personal trainers. And of course, we use the MyZone system all the time for mm -hmm. our individual workouts and with our clients and our group fitness classes. We're very excited to bring you this content every Friday. And as you know, we also have a blog and the content from today's episode, we're calling these episodes, today's yeah. live video, uh, is on the blog. So you can go to myzone.org and check out the blog titled Low Maintenance Cardio and Muscular Fitness Circuit. Yeah. And all the exercises we're going to demo are in a list right there. So you exactly. can print you can it follow out, along. follow along. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. If you guys are not familiar with all of the amazingness that is MyZone, check out myzone.org where you can read our blog but also learn all about MyZone itself. You can also check out MyZone on Facebook, YouTube, that's where we store all of the previous broadcasts or episodes uh, of this Fitness Friday uh, broadcast. And then you can check them out on Instagram and Twitter. Indeed you can. And of course in this live interaction we invite you to post comments and questions if you're watching the replay on the MyZone Facebook page. Continue to leave comments and questions. If you're watching on YouTube, hop on over to the MyZone Facebook page and you can leave us Good yeah, morning to I anyone. I saw Coach B Coach sign B. in. Awesome. Good morning to you all. Or good afternoon if you are somewhere where it is the afternoon or good evening if you're somewhere <laughs> where it's the evening. <laughs> We've got one exciting announcement, guys. In two weeks, we are actually going to have a guest broadcast. It's our first one. We're excited. And uh, we're going to receive some awesome content on April 28th, two weeks from today, from the Bannatyne Health Club in York, in the UK. And they are, I'm really excited about this, they're going to explain their Bannatyne My Zone League. That yeah. sounds really interesting to me. I'm excited to hear about that. And also the latest version of their Be Functional Workout. Yes. So make sure that you tune in in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And next week, but in two weeks. <laughs> and so if Kevin is out there, yeah. we're excited to have you on, Kevin. And if you are a club owner, club manager, or you're a lead trainer, like the fitness manager somewhere, that is going to be excellent content for you because they're yeah. going to share how they're rolling that out and then actually give a demo mm -hmm. of the workout, which will be awesome. Yes, yes. Speaking of demos of workouts, that's what we're going to do for you today. Mm. This circuit is designed to be something that you can do anywhere. Last week we talked about three simple fat loss strategies and we talked about incorporating resistance training into your routine as a mechanism of promoting fat loss. Well, we know that you're not always going to have access to great nails. Thank you, Chris. I still am rocking my bright neon nails. Um, <laughs> we know that you're not always going to have access to free weights or machine weights where you can be moving heavy loads. Mm -hmm. Ideally, if you're trying to improve strength or you're doing hypertrophy training, you're going to be moving some pretty heavy loads. But sometimes you won't have access to that, so we wanted to give you a workout that you could do anywhere. This is something if you're on vacation or you're out of your normal routine, you can simply grab a resistance band, <laughs> throw it in the suitcase, throw it in your briefcase, throw it in your purse, and then you can perform this circuit from anywhere. And you're going to take your resistance band with you and you're going to perform cardio circuits. So here's how, it, here's how the workout is organized. You're going to do a warm-up, of course, as we always encourage, and that would be in the blue and the green zone. So maybe you're ending your warm-up in the green zone. Then you're going to do a cardio interval, one minute on or one minute in the push phase, where you're aiming to get into yellow. So maybe you're going to go from green to yellow. Then you're going to do one minute of an active recovery. So let's say you're running. That one minute of the work phase or the push phase, you're probably going to be running at Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Erin. You're probably going to be running at a pace that would be um, a pace that's pretty challenging. And then during the active recovery, you're going to pull back on the gas and you're going to cruise nice and easy so that you recover into green and hold green for a minute. Hello, one minute in green, and then you're going to get into 
your resistance band exercise. So it's designed that you do a two minute cardio interval, you do a resistance band exercise, and then you repeat. There are 10 resistance band exercises, which means you're gonna be doing 10 cardio intervals before each of those. Cool. Then you cool down at the end. But what we're gonna show you today are the 10 resistance band exercises. Yes. We've got resistance bands. Yes. Maybe you do too. Grab your resistance band if you have one and follow along. Yes. Our first oh. exercise. Well, here we go, here we go. It's on the mizone.org website. You yes, can check it, it out. That's what we're That's looking, what at, right we're looking at right now. <laughs> Squats. Okay. And you're doing 10 repetitions of each of these exercises and you're gonna do two rounds. So you've got your two minute cardio interval. Then let's say you're on a running trail, right? You just pull over to the side, you step on your band, maybe about hip to shoulder width apart, pull your band up to about shoulder level, and then perform your 10 squats where you're squatting down, driving up through your heels. So you're getting a little bit of resistance on the way to the top. I think that was 4M, here's 5, let's just go all the way to 10. Okay. So you're sitting back in your heels, squeezing up, sitting back, squeezing up. Last one right here, hi-ya! And maybe you would take a 10 to 15 second break in between your sets, but then go right into your second set of 10 squats. Good morning, Lindsay. <laughs> Yeah, go right into your second set of 10 squats. And your heart rate should stay relatively elevated because you're gonna be doing more of a muscular endurance-based uh, resistance training with the yeah. resistance mm -hmm. band. So I'd anticipate that your heart rate would stay up in green or blue. Okay. Next exercise is the lunge with bicep curl. So you're gonna take your band, you're gonna step a foot on the band, your forward leg, and your, your feet, your legs should be hip width apart. So you'll just slide the other leg back. You're gonna come down in the lunge. And when you come up, that's when you curl so that you're maximizing the resistance of the band. You would do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and then repeat. So you would just step in with the other foot, step the other leg back, lunge down, curl up. How's it going over there, Em? Good, I was adjusting my band because when the handles are set like this, sometimes uh -huh. the band isn't as strong as me. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, so you can choke up on your band then. You can yeah. grab a little further down to on the band. have a little bit more yeah, resistance. Excellent Get a little more gnarly. Excellent option. Thank you. Next exercise is the monster walk. I dig this one. Oh, this is a great yeah. one. You'd step on your band about hip to shoulder width apart again, just like the squats. And then I like to cross the band yeah. to provide a little bit more resistance. And you're going to be moving laterally. So my suggestion to you is to first take a posterior pelvic tilt. So that's where you're pulling your tailbone underneath you and you're activating your glutes, activating your abdominal muscles, and then holding that position and you're walking to the side. So you would do 10 steps one direction and 10 steps back the other direction. Then you would take a little breather and you would repeat. Oh, yes. this is such a good one. Group fitness instructors and trainers, if you guys like having zingers, like that really tough exercise that your classes kind of love to hate, this is a good one. For yeah, that. the yeah. monster walk is great. <laughs> and you can play around with different levels of resistance on your resistance band to see what's most appropriate for you. We're using what would be considered a medium resistance right now, and I find that this is nice to be able to accommodate all of these exercises mm -hmm. that we're gonna be doing. Mm -hmm. The next one is a chest Press. Yeah. So let's do our cross. If you've got a partner, this one's kind of fun because you can cross oh, cool. and then face away from each other. And let's go at a little bit of an angle and <laughs> so that you're in the camera. Tell me when you've got it. You have to synchronize. Oops, <laughs> hang on one second. Em. You have to synchronize your repetitions. So on the count of three, we're going to press out and we're, we're choosing to take a split stance. One, two, three. Press. Exactly, so you're offering resistance to your partner by synchronizing your repetitions. If you want this to be more challenging, then you would step further apart. Let's hold and take a step, yep. Ready, <laughs> one, two, three. If you wanted to be really mean to your partner, you'd let go of your resistance band, but we won't do that, we won't do it. <laughs> So, so that's the chest press. If you're alone, then could you loop your band around like a tree or? 100%. Cool. 
around a fence post, around a tree, something that's just gonna provide you a solid amount of resistance. We can keep these crossed okay. because our next exercise is a back row. So it's the oh, same okay. idea, we're just facing each other and we're gonna synchronize once again. One, two, three, squeezing shoulder blades together. Exactly. And again, you can wrap around a fence post, a tree, something that's gonna just provide the resistance of your band. The further you are from where your band is wrapped, the more challenging Ooh. it will be. Excellent. We'll unwrap here. We are making our way through these 10 exercises pretty quickly. So the next exercise that we'll do is a bicep curl. You'd step on your band and you can step on your band with one or both feet. More, you're gonna get more resistance if you're stepping on the band with both feet. And then you'll just perform your standard bicep curl, keeping your elbows in by your sides. Again, if you're stepping on the band with both feet, the wider your feet are apart, the more resistance you'll get because the less of the band you have to work with, the more resistance it will provide. Next exercise oh. is a tricep <laughs> extension. And I like to do this one side at a time. You step on your band with one foot and you're gonna bring your elbow up over your shoulder. Then you're gonna extend up overhead. And I like to put my other hand on my elbow to hold it in place so that I'm not bringing my elbow forward as I'm extending. You're holding it back. One, one that I like if I can add one, if you don't have the range of motion for your shoulder to do that one, is just to hold the band and pull it down. Yeah, almost like a rope extension. Oh. So yeah, create your point of resistance and then pull down, keep your elbow in by your ribs if you're doing it that way. Yeah, I like that. Our next two exercises are core exercises. We're gonna do a chop and we're gonna do a paylov press. We'll do the paylov press first. Okay. Um, Shall I and hold then, your band? Yeah, that would be great. So again, you could wrap your band around a point to hold it, and then you're gonna keep your band in by your chest, rotate away from the point that's holding the end of your band, creating the point of resistance, and you wanna have some nice tension on your band to begin with so that as you're extending your arms out you're going to feel the, the resistance pulling you toward where your band is connected to and i recommend backing up just a little bit so that when you're at extension you're parallel to your point of resistance so you're going to be pulling in and pressing out holding tight through your core so that you're not rotating at all toward your point of resistance you want to maintain a nice solid position with your hips and your shoulders square ahead mm -hmm. as you're extending in and out. Yeah. Yeah. I like to think of if you were taking like a snapshot of everything of Ayla from up and down but not her arms, all of that would be still. The only thing moving is her arms. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's a great one for obliques. And you're also going to feel it in your hips like glute need because you're holding and resisting rotation, which is great. The chop. We can both do this one okay. if you want. The chop, you're going to step one foot onto the band. And this one you might need to choke up on or you might choose to just use one side of your resistance band. Because what you're going to be doing is a low to high chop where you're coming from down low to up high. So it's a rotational movement extending up, out, and away. You're going to feel this one in your obliques your rectus abdominis, and of course through your hips too. Again, glute need, glute max. Anything you want to add to this one, Em? Oh, nope, love it. Okay. I can feel it. Yes. So you would do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Em, can we pull these up on your phone again? Yeah, I just want to review them. 10 repetitions on one side, 10 on the other, a total of two sets of 10. So if the movement is unilateral, then do 10 on each side times two. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so you're to review. Your exercises are squats, lunge with a bicep curl, monster walk, chest press, back row. Oh, the lateral shoulder raise. I knew we were forgetting one. Mm -hmm. We're gonna show you the lateral shoulder raise in a second. Bicep curl, tricep extension, payloff press, and chop from low to high. All of these are on 
the blog on myzone.org. So the lateral shoulder raise, okay. let me show you that just real quickly. Again, you can step with one foot or two, more feet equals more resistance, and you're just pulling out to the Ooh. side, arms at about shoulder height. Same engagement through your core to hold steady and support your back, and I like to keep a soft bend in my knees as I do that. So if you're on with both feet, it makes the resistance even more as you're doing the lateral raise. Nice. Yeah. All right, folks, that is the low maintenance cardio and resistance training or muscular fitness circuit. You can do this one anywhere. Yep, yep. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to tune in next week, of course, but especially in two weeks when we have Bannatine Health Club coming on. It will be super fun. Mm -hmm, yes, Erin, mm -hmm. you can do this on vacation, and the yeah. total workout will take you maybe 45 to 60 minutes, depending on how quickly you move through your repetitions. Mm -hmm. So it's one that will be quick and effective as well, especially because you're going to earn a lot of MEPS because of the cardio that you're doing. Yeah. So this is a good one. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining us. Be sure to check out myzone.org, myzone on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram to learn more. Yes. And if you are posting on any of those social media sites, use the hashtag myzonemoves, hashtag effort rewarded. Please connect with us as social connections via the MyZone app. We love seeing what you're doing and you can check out what we're doing. You can rate your workouts on the MyZone app and be keeping track of those so that you can know what's really working for you well. Yes, and be sure to check out the My Zone Moves podcast. Mm -hmm. It is available on iTunes and Google Play. Uh, our latest episode with uh, Chantal Broderick just came yes. out, so be sure to check out that one. Yes, and cool. good morning Chantal, or I think it's evening or some other time there in Australia. So if you're <laughs> tuning in, hello. Yes, awesome guys. Right. We'll see you next week. And keep, keep moving, moving forward. forward. Have a great weekend everybody. Bye.